Welcome to the second part. In the first video, what we did was went through and created two full patterns with uh, drums, bass, pad, and two synths. I want to go back through and just play those for you really quick just to refresh your memory in case you're splitting up your watching of these. So here's the first one. What I want to do is create one more pattern, and then we'll add in some incidental kind of stuff, some little things here and there. And then after that, we will get to the arranging. So once again, we'll go back and start with the drums. This. And I know that we still have some distortion coming in here. I still need to go in and adjust the volume, but uh, we'll get that taken care of. Alright, and uh, once again we'll do the hi-hat here, and we'll go back and do... Go in here and do this pad real quick. Okay. You can see, since we have all this stuff going, my uh, processor is starting to get kind of weird. And by the way, when we get to the mixing stage, we're going to bounce some of these tracks down so that way it doesn't eat up all our processing power. And you can see that's starting to bog me down a little bit, so let's go in here and we're going to take out. Helped out a little bit, so. Alright, so now that we've got our three patterns together, the only other stuff I really want to do is go in here and do some snare fade-ins. Let me... This off chord mode. OK. 
Okay, and we will just copy that. And we'll put it back here and take this down to kick drum. All right, and uh, the last thing I want to do, I've forgotten to put in some. Go in here and do symbol hit pattern. So, just got some basic stuff that we can use to throw in every now and then. The next step is we're going to split up everything here onto its own separate pattern. So, we're going to take these three patterns and split everything up. So that way, when we get over here to the playlist, we can just start drawing out our patterns wherever we want them to come in. And uh, we'll also end up using some pattern clips down here to uh, kind of chop up things and change things up a little bit. So just uh, I'm, I'm not going to make you sit here while I do it all. But just to show you what I'm talking about, we'll take, like, for instance, we'll start here with the kick drum. And we'll just copy that. And I'm going to start on pattern number 10, and we'll just paste that there, and then we'll call, we'll rename pattern number 10, uh, kick, great, four. All right, so that way, now we just have our kick separated. So I'm going to go through and do that for all of the other patterns or for the three patterns that we already have, and go ahead and get everything set up, and then when we come back, we'll be ready to start arranging. Okay, so what I've done is gone in and put everything on its own pattern here, starting here with pattern 10. Uh, we just have the straight four kick. And then, of course, we have everything else. Each one of the patterns has been split up, Per instrument, so we have the three kicks, three snares, hi hats, extra percussion, bass, pad, synth, and then I put the uh, extra synth down here. I need to rename those. So, like I said, what we're going to do in the next tutorial is actually go through and start laying some of this stuff out. And again, the reason that we're using this method is, of course, there's a million different ways that you know you could create a song in FL Studio. But the reason that we're doing this is now that we have each one of these individual parts. It's kind of like having a constant mute switch. Like we can bring parts in and bring parts out. And we know that everything is going to fit together because we just created those three patterns at the beginning. And each one of them was all, you know, everything was using the same key. And everything was within the same realm. So this will just make it easier as we're going through and working with the song. We can play around with the different parts. And again, we have the pattern clips down here that we can play with as well. Also, last thing, in the next tutorial, what I'm going to do is go ahead and bounce some of these tracks down. And everything is going to stay the same here on the playlist. But I'm going to bounce some of these down just so that we can kind of cut down on the processing power so we can have more freed up. You know, with FL Studio, anytime that you have a lot going on, you know, depending on your computer, the polyphony is really going to, you know, have a drag on your processing power. So anytime you have a whole bunch of notes playing at once, especially with, you know, something like the uh, Citrus VSTi here, which is very processor intensive, especially with pad sounds, you know, anytime you're going to have something like that, you're going to run into a processing problems. So I'll go ahead and bounce these tracks down so that way when we get up to arranging and mixing, we'll have a little bit more freed up so that we can use some effects wisely. I will see you in the next tutorial.